my uh, my new and improved method of making my Elsa ice dress ice cape. And um, I tried all this uh, fabric glue stuff or just regular glue. And uh, the problem is the glitter keeps falling off. I'm leaving a trail of glitter everywhere I go. And uh, the other thing is um, I use... I don't use uh, organza like most people do, but I uh, use this um, very soft mesh fabric, um, and it's really it's really soft as you can see. It's not so stiff as organza is, so it looks twice as stupid if you put uh, too big glue, uh, too, too thick uh, layer of glue on it, because it it gets so um, it gets really stiff and really hard. And those designs. This is what I'm doing now. Um, I got this, I don't know how you call it, it's, it's some iron-on material, um, it's that stuff you can use if you have a, uh, a seam and you don't want to sew it, so you can buy those, um, those, yeah, they're like, uh, hot glue for fabric, those, those stripes, you, on this, this paper, you put them on your fabric, you iron it on, you peel the paper off, and all you fle uh, you're left with is this, um, thin layer of gluey stuff and you flip it over and iron it on and it sticks fabric to fabric and I figured that if you make your designs with it cut them out iron it on peel off the paper and then apply glitter on it you can just iron the glitter on the fabric it's like you're using a very thin layer of fabric glue and it's really thin and it won't make this uh, this fabric too stiff and this design too much stand out so, first first thing to do, uh, I already ironed those on just to put them in place uh, so I know where I'm working, but I, my, my uh, other iron isn't hot enough. So, if I start peeling off this uh, paper now, um, I realized I keep peeling off the glue as well. So I have to press them on once more with a hotter iron and then we can apply the glitter. So, first thing, since this is a mesh fabric, I have to put wax paper under it otherwise I'm going to glue my cape to my ironing table and that would not only look stupid but my mom would kill me uh, so, <laughs> so now I'm going to press it on again I'm using a quite high setting but make sure your fabric can take it you won't get anything from it if you put your iron on it right in the middle of your cape and then realize oh well that burned through so then you got a hole and then it looks stupid and you have to start over again because you ruin, ruined your whole thing so make sure you're not too hot for your fabric so now I'm pressing it on and as you can see it starts sticking to my waxing paper at least a little bit so when it's ironed on good enough voila, I can start to peel off the the anti-adhesive paper at least I hope it's what it's called I think I googled it the other day and I think that's what it's called so can see the paper is away and now we're left with this very thin uh, design uh, it's hard to see I think that's that's better at least a little bit uh, I think you can can see what I'm, I mean this this little glue design okay so now I'm applying glitter I wanted to have very thin glitter I recommend to use very thin glitter but I have the problem I didn't get it so I bought uh, just to show you for those little uh, snowflakes uh, glitter that's slightly uh, bigger but I like this this powder glitter that really does then very 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 important because I don't want glitter on the iron since it's not mine as I told you wax paper on top of it now you have a layer of waxing paper under it and a, t a layer of wax and paper over it. That's what you need. Now you just start pressing the glitter down in the glue. 
Now let's see what we've got. Here we go. Peel it off. I always peel this stuff off like rolling it back. And I don't know if you can already see it, but I love it. I already love it. Oh, that was the fine glitter after all. Yay! I had some little fine glitter left. So that's what it looks like if you use this wonderful small glitter, but I don't have enough of that. So I think I'm going to apply a little of the bigger, I don't know, right in the center. There's no glitter at all now. Make sure to, uh, if you use bigger glitter, to thin it out before you iron it on, because um, I made the experience that it sticks on top of each other and then your design gets uh, stiff again. So make a very thin layer of glitter. The good thing is, uh, since this is not a regular fabric glue, but uh, like hot glue for fabric, I keep saying that, because I love the idea, um, you can always, if you lose glitter anywhere or if you crinkle it too, too much and the glitter comes off, you can always go back here, put a new layer of glitter on, iron it on and it will stick, even after years of wearing, wearing it. So uh, that's not a problem at all. Or if you think, well, I used that small part of glitter but I'm not very satisfied with it, you can go over it with bigger glitter and it will stick as well. So you can apply layers of layers of glitter. Uh, on your fabric because this hot glue will keep sticking it on at as long as you heat it up. So now let's see. I think I should go for a mix from now on since I think it looks very cool. I see, um, I don't know if you can see the, the difference between the two glitters. I can see it and I'm very satisfied. Um, now I don't know. If you really can see it here now there the smaller glitter is here it's like it's very powdery and uh, here in the middle we have the the bigger glitter and as you can see it, it breaks the light much more it sparkles a lot more but it's it's uh, a bit stiffer than the small glitter is so I recommend for bigger designs to use the powder but uh, on some centerpieces or uh, at least add some snowflakes you can of course use the bigger glitter since I think it sparkles a lot more than the smaller one I don't know if you can see that I see it and I love it so uh, of course you can see there is glitter all over my hand and all over this fabric now you can just if it's cooled down of course you have to wait till it's cool now it's cool to the touch and now you can just flip it a bit around and as you can see the glitter doesn't come off, but uh, the glitter that was sticking here comes off. Now I see there was still glue on the waxing paper, <laughs> and I have a little bit extra glitter on my on my coat or my cape, but I don't think that's a problem at all, since more sparkle, more awesome. <laughs> okay, so that's what I'm doing for my whole cape, or at least that's what I'm planning to do for my whole cape. And then you may be able to see the finished result on my Facebook page or on my Deviant Art page, if you like it or not. Now, that's what I'm doing. Oh, I just I can't stop looking at it. It's so beautiful. I love it. I hope you love it too. If you do, leave me a comment, leave me a thumbs up or a like. I don't know whether you find this on YouTube or on Facebook. Just. Tell me if you like it, tell me what you think of this method, tell me if you're going to use it. Of course, I didn't invent it. I came up with it and found out that a good friend of mine came up with the same idea and I found out many people use it. But I haven't seen a tutorial of that, so I thought, just let's make one. <laughs> I hope you like it, just tell me if you do. Alright, then I hope I could help. And, yeah. Stay tuned for work in progresses and whatever I'm going to show next. Bye!